Hello everybody, today we will speak about the joint and conditional probability. Let's get started. Joint probability. What does it mean? Joint probability. It is the probability taken for A intersects B. If we look at Venn diagram, we can see A and B, A, B, and this is of course S, and here we have the intersection part between them. So the probability of this part equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A union B. It means that we have to remove probability of A union B because in uh, uh, the set of union, we remove the uh, uh, repeating of the uh, common elements. We don't repeat the uh, common elements. And also, probability of A union P equal to probability let's make another color probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of joint part it means the probability of A intersect P because we don't repeat elements in the common set. We don't repeat elements. We can see also that probability of A Union B cannot exceed probability of A plus probability of B and can be equal only if probability of A and B are mutually exclusive. It means A intersect P equal to phi. Okay, now let's go further to the next part of our lecture. And here we will speak about the conditional probability. Conditional probability. Conditional probability, it is defined as probability of A condition P equal to probability of A intersect P divided by probability of P where probability of P cannot be equal zero. Okay, it means A depends on B or on a way or another. And this is the formula to get the probability of A condition B, how much A is dependent on P, how much A is dependent on P. Now we can understand this more 
if we know that probability of S as assemble space condition A which is subset of sample space equal to probability of A excuse me probability of S probability of S intersect A over probability of A S intersect A equal to A it means probability of A divide by probability of A it means equal to 1 it is certain it is a certain case because S is, uh, is dependent on A because A is a part of S. It is subset in S of S. Probability of A condition B cod equal to probability of A multiply probability of B divided by probability of P it will equal probability of A if A and P are statistically independent if they are statistically independent in this case probability of A intersect B will equal probability of A multiply probability of P now let's go Further, uh, we have one formula which is very uh, interesting. I think let's uh, go through it and explain it. It will be of uh, very importance to you. This is probability of A intersect C condition P let's make it like this equal to probability of A condition P plus probability of C condition P now it is valid only if A and C are mutually exclusive A and C are mutually exclusive then probability of A union P intersect uh, union C, excuse me, union C intersect P uh, 
will equal probability of A intersect P union probability uh, excuse me union union C intersect P this is association uh, distributive low this is distributive low and this will equal probability of A intersect P plus probability of C intersect P. Okay, this is this is uh, because because of the third probability axiom, the sum here, or uh, which is called union, is given by only addition because uh, C, A and uh, uh, C are mutually exclusive. Now, condition probability P probability of A intersect C Condition P, we use the formula of condition. It means we have to take the joint probability between this and this. Probability of A union C Union C intersect P. Intersect P divide by probability of P. This will equal probability of A intersect P divide by probability of P plus probability of A intersect P over probability of P. It means probability of A condition B plus probability of C condition B. Now we can see that the formula here is valid.